Queenston Heights was the first major battle in the War of 1812, and it really saw the coming together of groups of people who didn't always get along, actually, but they made a fairly effective little army here, and that included British Army Redcoats, local Canadian farm boys, uh, Haudenosaunee warriors, and even people who had been enslaved uh, recently, all came together to form this very small but very effective fighting force that took on a much larger opponent and defeated them here on October the 13th, 1812. So very early on in, uh, in our history, even well before the War of 1812, there was this slow, slow movement against slavery. And I always remind uh, visitors here to remember the name of a fellow by the name of James Somerset, who in 1772, the highest court in the English-speaking world set him free in London, England. Didn't free all the slaves in the world, far from it, but it certainly sent a message that under English common law, technically, slavery, is illegal and James Somerset became free. This caused a terrible problem in the colonies because guys like George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison would go on to be presidents of the United States and lifelong slave owners. Before, during, and after the American Revolution the number of slaves those men owned expanded. So for most of the black troops who fought in the Revolutionary War or the War of 1812, although they probably didn't love King George or the British Army, the vast majority of them served alongside the Redcoats. And many of them became the people who started the Underground Railroad, which really starts to take off here in 1793 with the passage of the Act Against Slavery and really takes off again in August of 1834 when slavery once and for all is ended in the entire British Empire.